Start off by using the password and username that you received in your Groove Offers welcome email. Use the Channels tab to link your accounts together. You'll first be linking your Facebook. Click the link button next to the Facebook icon. Allow posts directly to Facebook from Groove Offers. You may need your login and password for Facebook at this option if you're not logged on to the computer you are using. Once Facebook has been added, then you're ready to import emails. Click the import button next to the icon. Choose upload file. Choose the file from your computer that you would like to upload. Choose the option accept the terms. Next, choose the group that you would like that file to go in. You can add a new group or choose a group that's already been established. Choose the group and press next. Here's a list of everybody I've added here. And it will let you know if any of the problems they had uploading, whether it was a wrong email or bad punctuation, it's just an invalid email address. Choose done. And you see here, it added all your contacts. Now you're ready to link your Twitter account. Much like Facebook, click the link tab allow posts and it may ask you to log in with your Twitter password depending if you're already logged on to this computer. Remember as you fill these out you can always click on the learn more tab next to it and you can see really how effective and what these are used for. 97 percent of customers read their text messages within 15 minutes and you edit your settings Here's where you can choose your nickname that customers will be able to opt in and text your nickname to this number and then they become your fan automatically. Your magic offer box is something that will allow you to get an HTML code that you can either yourself post on your website or you can have your web designer post it. The Magic Offer Box is an optional thing, just like every other avenue. If you choose to not use a channel, that's completely up to you. We do recommend you use as many channels as possible so you can reach as many customers as possible. From this page, you can go ahead and start your offer, but take note that on the top of each page there's an 800 number in case you ever get stuck or has questions. You can go to Grow My Lists, and it has different instructions and different options just to help educate you on how you can grow your customer base. There's even a tip section at the bottom of this page. Now once you do this and you get everything linked together, you're ready to create an offer. And remember, you only have to link things once, and after that they'll stay linked until you manually unlink them. And now you can either create a social offer bot or create an offer. Now the only difference is an offer bot will allow you to post the same offer on multiple dates. So decide what offer you want to do and choose pick this offer. And now you're ready to design your offer. Start out by creating a title. Note that if you leave the title section blank, it will give you notice that this option is required. If you're not feeling very creative, you can also choose one of Groove Offer's hundreds of different ideas for a title. After you've added your exciting new title, then you can drop down to the next box and add details for your offer. Using the mobile and web tabs, you can toggle back and forth and see what your customers will see, either through their email or on their cell phones. See live what your message will look like and watch it change as you change the information. Now you're ready to upload a photo. Choose the upload link, choose your photo, and add your graphic. You can add an expiration date by clicking the option below.
At any time, feel free to go back and edit anything you've previously done. Some of your choices will be optional, like the fine print and expiration date. You can click the checkbox beside the option, and if the checkbox is checked, then it will show on your offer. If it's not checked, then it won't show. Your fine print is used to include details that would void out your offer, like may not be used with other offers. Once you've decided the information you want on your offer, you already decide what you want your offer to look like. So choose one of our many different backgrounds to really customize the look of your offer. Your branding bar will show you how you want the name of your company to look on the offer. If you want to change the font, color, or type, this is where you would do so. You can also add a logo of your business in this section. Once you choose the options, it will stay there just like once you link your channels until you make the manual change yourself. The action tab is showing how you want your customers to redeem the item. Do you want them to go to your website? Do you want them to show you their phone in the store? Or do you just want them to make a call and maybe make a reservation? This option actually has redemption tracking where you can include average ticket of a price so later on you can see how many people redeemed that offer and how valuable it really was. The last tab is your business information. Again, this is something that once you enter it in, it's going to stay there until you change it. Now, it does have the option whether you put that information on your offer or not. Now, you're done with step one, picking the offer, and you're done with step two, design the offer. Now, you just have to publish your offer. Click Save and Next. And then choose who you want to see your offer. You can choose this in any combination. You can go email to Facebook, Facebook to Twitter, texting, all of the above. Notice how on the right hand side in the blue box you can see how many people you have available to send your offer to and how many people you are sending your offer to. The magic offer box is something that you'll need to set up according to the size that you wanted on your website. Once you decide who you want to get it, you just decide when you want them to get it. You can either schedule the event for a later date or a later time. Or you can send the offer right now. Sending it now means it goes to all these different avenues right after you press publish. If it's an offer you know you want to do but you're not sure you want to do now, you can just save it as a draft. And that will bring you back to your home screen. Your home screen contains your four main tabs. Your drafts, which is offers you've created but never published. Your expired, which is your offers that you've created and are no longer valid. Your scheduled, which is offers you've created and set to publish at a later date. Or your live, which is offers you publish and are still valid. With each section, it gives you different options. You can choose, you can go back and look at a previous offer that you've published and edit it. You can view statistics. You can see how many emails you sent this offer to and how many it bounced. 
how many were good, how many people opted out of it. This could be beneficial for future offers sent. This is also the section where you'd add redemption tracking. You can add the average sale for what this value is worth and then it will calculate according to how many people have redeemed it what your profit was. By clicking view you can actually see what the offer looked like. You can see it from the customer's eyes. With this specific offer the redemption option is to grab to phone. They can enter in their phone number, press grab to phone, and then in moments they'll get a text message confirming the offer. Here's a section that I love to share. It makes your customers your salesmen and they don't mind doing it at all. Each offer that you send, whether it's through the phone or through an email, gives a like, a tweet, an email, or a share button. This gives your customers a user-friendly, easy option for them to share your product with their friends, which are potential customers that you might not have reached otherwise.